cannot gatekeep this any longer. I'm finally sharing with you guys the one skincare product that I swear leaves my skin poreless. These are the products that I swear by. Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you are already subscribed, make sure you turn on your post notifications because I'm posting every Monday and Thursday. I have not done a favorites video in so freaking long. And honestly, I love hearing what other people are liking. Those are some of my favorite TikTok videos when people are just like going through products that they're loving currently. So I thought I would do it here on YouTube. Do a little OG favorites video. We have skincare, hair care, clothes, pretty much everything. Let's cut to the chase and get started. Let's start with my current favorite lip combo because I just ate something and I don't have much on my lips right now. This lip liner is insane. It is $13 and it is so freaking creamy. It also is like a twisty uppy one so you don't have to use a pencil sharpener because the amount of times I wanted to use a lip liner and it's like at the nub and you're like scraping the wood on you. No, this does not have any wood. So let's put some on right now. Let me zoom you guys in. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I love like brown lip liners and brown lipsticks, anything brown, but this is definitely more of like a pinky shade. I would honestly say like a pinky brown. So it's definitely a little bit out of my comfort zone. I think it just looks so natural and just gives a little bit of color to your lips, especially if you have my skin tone also. Yes, one of my nails fell off. You know what? We're just not feeling like we need to deal with that today. You can obviously just keep it matte. I love to just like rub it out out with my finger just to make it look a little bit more airbrushed. I feel like it looks better than just smacking your lips together. But if you want to make it a little bit more glossy and have a little bit more color, this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Stone. And I love this gloss. It's also drugstore. I guess that lip liner was in drugstore, but it's still like drugstore price. But um, you can pick this up at like CES or something like that. But I just think it's so pretty. Let's stick with the beauty category and we'll go into our next favorite of the month. This is the Elta MD sunscreen and I've been so proud of myself because I've actually been applying it every single freaking day. I wanted to make that my goal because obviously you should be wearing sunscreen every day. But honestly, it was just another step in my skincare routine that I just always forgot about. What I love about the sunscreen is that it has like a little bit of thinner consistency. So it's so easy to like actually blend into your skin. There's like no white cast at all. That is why I, I, you know, don't mind putting on sunscreen. I also really do like the super good glow screen, especially when I'm trying to do a no makeup day because it kind of gives me a little color to the face, but that one is obviously a little bit more greasy because it's like the glow screen to it. And I ran out of my super goop unseen sunscreen. So I'm committed to this until I run out. I do like the unseen sunscreen for like a primer under makeup, but just for an everyday sunscreen, I am obsessed with this right now. Just not realizing I didn't zoom you guys back out. I cannot gatekeep this any longer. Longer, I'm finally sharing with you guys the one skincare product that I swear leaves my skin poreless. And back one day last week, the first words Ryan said to me was that it didn't look like I had pores. And I swear it is all due to Luna Oil from Sunday Riley. My older sister was actually the one that told me about Sunday Riley because she was using the CEO Glow at the time when she was in college and she introduced me to the brand and she was like, you have to try out the CEO Glow. I think that's what it's called, maybe not, I'm not sure. But basically the other oil, that's the orange one and so I went into Sephora and I love to ask like the brand associates what they recommend for my skin because me and my sister's skin is so different she definitely has more acne prone skin where I have super super dry skin so they actually recommended me Luna oil and this was like four four years ago I think it was like maybe my last year in college when I started using this and don't get me wrong it is very pricey but so freaking worth it like guys the amount of times people think I have Botox in my face because my like forehead looks so like smooth. It's because of this, because it prevents fine lines and wrinkles and the appearance of pores. I need you guys to try this out. At least get like a sample from Sephora. I always recommend my friends do that. Of course, using it more consistently, you're definitely gonna see the best results. I'm not gonna lie, I do get this product gifted to me now because I'm actually friends with the girls that work for Sunday Riley. But before last year, I was buying this all on my own. This video is not sponsored at all, but I am working with them on Instagram, which is 
like a dream partnership because this whole time I've been working with them just on a gifted basis and I'm finally doing paid work with them which is like literally a dream because like I said I am a Luna Oil stand so I actually have a discount code for you guys which is such a good deal it's 25% off I'm pretty sure the whole site you can get anything on Sunday ready so if you need to restock definitely use it because even the Sephora sale can't beat that I want to show you guys all the sizes I actually just got this in the mail from that page sponsorship and I was like oh my god I didn't even know they could get bigger but this is like the jumbo size I'm guessing I think this is like the normal size because this is the one I've always bought and then this one is the mini as you can see I've already used this whole bottle and I'm so close to being empty on this one I'm not really sure why I'm keeping this but you know how people do those like empty product TikToks. I think I was saving it thinking yeah, I'm gonna do that one day. This next one would be more in the hair category, but I'm pretty sure you probably guessed it. It is my heatless curler. I love this thing so freaking much and I'm actually really sad because I just joined a gym where I'm doing heated workout classes. I'm trying to maybe go three times a week, maybe more if I'm feeling it, but basically since it's heated, I'm number one sweating so much. And number two, it can also be really humid in there. So I don't know if it's like worth it to sleep in this and then your curls just fall out in the workout class because I do it right in the morning. But on the days that I don't have a workout class in the morning, I'm gonna still continue to use this. It's just so easy and so convenient, especially when you get the hang of like wrapping your hair around it. I saw somebody explaining it like it's a French braid and that was a game changer. I wish so bad that I had this in like middle school in high school because I remember waking up so freaking early just to curl my hair with the wand and I obviously was you know damaging my hair with heat. My biggest tip for using this is to not use it with clean hair because I feel like it just looks really ringlety and looks like way too curly for my liking. Using it with dirty hair is actually the best. I just like spray it with some like summer sea salt kind of spray just to like dampen it just the tiniest bit but using it with like dry hair is going to turn out way better than using it with you know wet or damp hair. At the end of the day, it just saves me so much time getting ready in the mornings that I just have to do my makeup and take my hair out of this. My next favorite, I wear almost every single day. I'm not even kidding you. I have it in a couple of different colors and that is my Skims tank. This is my most recent one. I just got it in black, but I have two in Heather Gray and one in like that off-white cream color. It's a ribbed tank and it's cropped and I just think it looks good with pretty much anything. I'm just wearing it with sweatshorts today. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. I feel like it's just so versatile. It's also so so freaking comfortable. I personally don't wear a bra. If I am wearing one of the heathered gray ones or like the cream one out, I will definitely have to wear like a nipple cover kind of thing just to make sure, you know, everything's not showing. It's a tiny bit see-through, I would say. But for the most part, I just want, don't want like my nipple outline showing in public. But the black, I feel like is totally fine. Also, I size down in these tank tops. I get a medium. I'm usually like a large or a size 10 in tops. But for these, for me not to wear a bra, I like it to be a little bit tighter. Next, I have my favorite piece of jewelry and it is my gold watch. I think I got this in February or March and I wear it almost every single day. Now that I'm working out, I do tend to take it off more often, but it is the most perfect addition to this bracelet stack. These two bracelets are from Goriana and then this is from Amazon. I purchased it for 300 something dollars with taxes. I think it was closer to 350, but now it's on sale for $243. So literally like a hundred dollars less, which I'm so mad about. But honestly, I have already justified it because I've been wearing it so freaking much. There's a little close-up of the watch. It has this like clasp in the back, which I was definitely struggling to get it on and off when I first got it, but I learned how to, and it's not that bad putting it on and taking it off yourself. Um, but I just think it's so pretty and dainty. And you know what's funny? I don't even like think this is the right time because I don't really like I don't really use this as a watch, which <laughs> you guys can call me crazy. But I always have my phone on me, so I just like look at my phone whenever I need to know the time. It's really just for show. I mean, I think the girls get it. My boyfriend is super into watches, so I asked him, because I saw this on Amazon, and I was like, is this even like a good watch brand? He always tells me that Movement, the watch brand, is not the best, so I just wanted to check in, and he approved this one. Next up, we have these Reebok sneakers that I was actually gifted at an Amazon event. I really didn't think I would get that much use out of them, but when I started wearing them, they're so comfortable, number one, and then they're just like 
obviously a great white sneaker. I kind of am over like the Air Force Ones. I literally haven't worn mine in so long. So these are kind of like my new replacements. They're a little bit like lower top and I think the Air Force Ones probably have a little bit more of a platform, which I did really like because I love anything with a platform. But it's nice to switch it up and I do love like the green accents for the Reebok symbol. They look a little bit dirty. I swear I haven't worn them like that much. So I feel like they're giving like Golden Goose vibes where it looks a little bit dirty. Overall, they're just really versatile and I just love something that I can pair with a bunch of outfits. My last current favorite is a little bit more sentimental. I went to this ATX girls event. My friend Caitlin puts on these events for just like girls to come and meet other girls in Austin. So if you are new to Austin or have been here and just want to make friends, definitely go check her profile. Her name's Caitlin Nasser. Um, but we did this paint and sip party at like this clay shop. So we all got to paint mugs and this is mine. And I just think it turned out so so freaking cute. I don't remember the last time I like painted or really did anything creative. And if you follow me on TikTok, I'm starting these creative Sundays. I kind of want to come up with a better name for them. Um, but basically, since I am a photographer and do content creation, that was my hobby. Like you know, playing with cameras, editing, all that was my hobby and it turned into a job which is like insanely incredible. But now I'm like, well, what is my hobby if this is my job, you know? So I'm on the hunt to find a hobby and every Sunday I'm gonna try to do something like creative um, because I feel like photography is just not scratching that creative itch anymore. So this was a great start even though it wasn't on Sunday, but it inspired me to do just more crafty things. So if you guys have any recommendations on what to do, let me know. I I made Ryan chicken noodle soup yesterday with homemade egg noodles. I think that's what they're called. And it was actually so freaking good. We're having it again for dinner tonight and I'm so excited about it. Even just like trying new recipes or I really wanna try embroidery. I did it at like camp when I was 12. That was really fun. So I wanna try that again and scrapbooking. I have told myself that I was gonna do this for the past like probably two years and I never really printed out pictures or anything, but I finally bought a scrapbook recently, I think in the past month. I still haven't touched it, but that is something that I wanna do on my creative Sundays. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and that's why I haven't really started this scrapbook because I'm like, oh my God, where do I start? Number one, and then, you know, if I like draw something on the paper, it's gonna be permanent. I don't know, I think I'm just thinking too hard about it, but I do wanna just like do more like artsy stuff because I don't really consider myself artsy. Like I want to be so bad. I was the girl that wanted to doodle on her notebooks, but my doodles were horrible. Honestly, my handwriting was never good either which brings me to what's inside the mug it says hi cutes and that's what i call ryan and i love it so much ryan's actually currently sick right now we picked this up like last week and i was telling him oh my gosh we're never going to be able to use it because like neither one of us really drinks like hot drinks but i've been making him tea in it and so it kind of came in clutch those are all my current favorites and products i swear by i will have all the links in the description box and i will see you guys in my next video bye